Normal person going to bed, DD now is scribbless here, Sly Fox Free notifications on their PC. <laughs> when I tuned into the watch out, I was like, I swear I've seen this before. Then Noah had his moment with the sparkling tree saplings. <laughs> But welcome, everybody. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys being here. We're going to play some VG games. We're going to chill. And, uh, hey, we get to hang out. Hey, EOS, you ain't complaining at all. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. Well, I mean, I do morning streams for that reason, too, you know, to, like, make sure that the EU people are doing good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go practice some Mario 64 while we hang out. Sounds good? Cool. Let's do that. Oh, damn, I'm big, big. Let me make myself small. Yep. Let me try something real quick. Let me check something. Hmm, that's weird. That's not playing. Are notifications fucked? Hold up. Give me a second, chat. I want to check something. Are notifications fucked, bro? Dude, cool. Notifications are scuff. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I guess I have one less thing to worry about. <laughs> cool. We we we're living for that. Have you have you tried Skyrim before? No, I don't want to play that game. Thank you, though. Thank you. <laughs> it's not working. Hello there, Sly Fox freaks. <laughs> nice name. Love it. Love it. Love it. Anyways, I guess we're not going to get... Give me a second. Let me reset my thingy. Maybe I need to just reset this shit. It's like, if you attend conventions, which one do you recommend for a first time a contender? None. <laughs> I'm anti-social oh, shit. Oh! What the heck okay. is that, you ask? Chocoman cock. Good job. Yep, it it's works. Lit. It's lit. It works. I fixed it. Fixed it. <laughs> I miss as a face Grim, as a face Lynn. That's cool. You can miss it. It's me, Mario. Uh, the slice still refers to his famous as homies, or was that shelf a long time ago? Uh, I do not shy away from calling you guys homies, but I do agree that that was something that we did when a lot of you guys were a lot younger. And uh, it now it's kind of like a term of endearment. While it might not be used all the time, at heart we're all homies. That's how I see it. I'm gonna practice a little bit the the bread and butters. I'm gonna we're gonna do a little bit of practice before we actually do anything. I miss this being called the sluts arc. Oh, but all of you guys are still sluts, anyways. What arc was that? <laughs> it's okay, you're still a slut. Yep. Damn, that's coming out really consistent. What the fuck? What am I doing that, that I'm like actually landing those? Hello? What the fuck? Alright, but who are the sluts in general? Us. We're sluts. <laughs> We're all sluts. All right, what's the next thing to practice? Ooh, okay. Damn, what the heck is happening? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Oi, I'm only a slut with <laughs> to end with the letter Y. It's a full-time job then, huh? Oh, that was weird. Oh, hello. Oh, 
But yeah, uh, Grey of the Fireflies was insanely depressing. I have not watched a movie that was sad from, like, beginning to end. Like, the beginning was sad, the middle was sad, the end was sad, and the critics came out, and I'm like, oh, shit, that's, like, the nicest part. I don't have to watch this no more. That was the, I, I think that was the best part of that. I'm like, good, I can stop suffering. Can I make this happen more consistent? Yo, what's going on, Cisco? Okay. Evil Sly be like, I laughed through the grave of the fireflies. No, 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 no. There was a part that I did laugh, and I'm not trying to focus at all. It, it was when, and again, I'm not going to try to spoil, but, like, you, you know what constantly happens where they had to, like, take refuge? I'm like, it happened once. I'm like, okay. It happened twice. I'm like, all right. It happened a few more times. And I'm like, all right, this is kind of heavy. Holy shit, what's going on? And then it happened one more time, and I just started laughing. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> this is really fucking bad. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> holy fuck. This is so depressing. Oh, my God. Where does this stop? <laughs> so I was, like, laughing out of, like, come on. Can we get a break? Can't... Yeah, I, I started laughing because I'm like, damn, they can't catch a fucking break, dog. Also... I didn't know that the that the beginning of the movie was going to be like a Kill Bill kind of type shit. Where like they show you the actual end at the end. At the beginning. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? It was, it was, a, it, I will say though, that, that anime movie was made the same year that I was born. That movie is like 31 years old. Or 33 years old, actually. What am I saying? Or something like that. I, I forget how long it is. I, my math is dog shit at the moment. I apologize. Here we go. But I was like, holy shit. Like, the quality of that movie was really good. So, like... Well, I... He, here's my take. I wanted to... Is that considered the saddest movie that Studio Ghibli has made? Is It, it is... Is it, like, the saddest movie... Because, like, I wanted to get the saddest movie out of the way. I, I wanted to get the saddest movie out of the way. It's so sad. It's so, so sad. The general consensus is yes. Well, I then then everything else should be a fucking walk in the park from now on. Like, a, every other movie should be just a, a breeze. I should be like, <laughs> I'm not affected by anything. <laughs> Nothing hurts. Ha! <laughs> What's going on, fuckface420? Nice name. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, it's generally the saddest movie. I'm like, holy. But, like, I'm glad that I did that. Because, like... Man, no, that, that movie was sad. I can't... It's it just, like... You can't catch a break. That's just, oh man, you can't catch a fucking break. That movie was like, it's like working out hardcore. And then when you're thinking you're done and you're about to take a break, you're like, no, we're going to work out even more after that. <laughs> and I'm like, but my body can't take it. And, 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 the, and the movie's like, no, we're going to work more now. I'm like, but my body hurts. My feelings hurt. I don't fucking care. Get up. It's time to work. It's an insanity slash P90X type of movie. Oh, yeah. At least your heart sores for days after watching. I don't know if my heart is sore. I think I took it in. But, like, I'm also telling myself, like, listen, this is not real. 
listen, this is this is sad, but you're good. Relax. Like, you know, I, I, I've been, like, constantly, like, throughout the whole movie, it's like, this sucks. But, like, I was also telling myself, like, damn, the quality of this is so insane. Because, like, back then in 1988, the technology wasn't that insane. The technology wasn't that good. So, like, the work that probably went into making that movie must have been mind-boggling. Also, like, shout-outs to Panda. Because if it wasn't for Panda, I would have not been able to watch it. Panda came clutch with the, with the link to watch it. Does anyone want to tell him? Tell what? Tell me what? What are you gonna tell me, Monkus? Please. Is real, Eddie? Well, I mean, obviously, it's fucking real. Like, I understand what was ma it, what, what was it made from. I I understood that the, it, the, this was what was it World War Two? That just sucks. Shit was rough. What a what a movie to make though. Out of all things to like make an anime movie like out of that, like I get that everybody has different things to make and like you know they clearly it immortalizes a, a truth that a lot of people might not even realize. But damn, that shit was rough. Have you seen? No, no. But here's here's the kicker. By the way, to anybody that's gonna ask me questions, I'm like other movies that was the first studio ghibli movie that i watched from beginning to end fully no i did not stop i was like focused i was like giving it my whole attention that was my first studio ghibli movie i and i i asked specifically the chat hey chat which one is the hardest hitting one which one was the heaviest one which movie from studio ghibli was the 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 most gut-wrenching movie possible out of all of them because like i like i was asking like hey which movie should be my first one hey what's going on mc5 i was asking i was asking chat i was like which is uh like which which movies do you think i should watch first and a lot of you guys were saying a ponyo house moving castle like there was a lot of different like suggestions but then i i was like i know that, that, that there's something sad about a few movies that they make, which one is the saddest? Because I wanted, I wanted to, it, it, you know what I went, you know what was my mentality? I wanted to just rip the band-aid right away, like, you know, like, I, I just wanted to get that movie out of the way and just, like, then digest the other ones as it goes. Caught a vibe. No, well, I mean, I'm going to watch all of them. I'm going to, I want to watch all of them. So I think my way of going to watch Studio Ghibli's, it's going to be like a scale. I want to watch sad, 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 sad. And then progressively, I want to start watching the happy, 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 happy until the last thing I watch is like the most happy, most fun one. I want to watch all the sad ones first. I want to watch all the, the gut-wrenching ones, the ones that are going to make me fifi, you know. I want to watch those first. So what what should be my next one? No ocean waves is bad. bad. Worse than than graves of fireflies? Worse than graves? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. That movie was really fucking sad. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't like Whisper of the Heart at all. Hmm. So which which one should you which one should I watch next? I already watched essentially what you guys all collectively say is the saddest one, right? Like you guys said that the 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 saddest one was Graves of the Fireflies. That's collectively we can all agree that that was essentially the saddest one, like the most heart wrenching one, right? That's rough. 
It's not sad, but the writing story is trash. Really? Who made who who made the who's who's the famous director that makes these movies? I f I, I don't know the I don't know his name. Trying to figure out how I can consistently land. If you start with that one, then either oh yeah, Miyazaki, Miyazaki. So so is is that one that you're talking about? The one that Miyazaki did not write, but there's the his son did. Because I heard that one of them is trash, but it was not because Miyazaki did it, but like his son had some involvement. Also, one second, chat. I'm gonna take off my hoodie. IRL. One second. Oh shit, he's stripping. <laughs> now it's truly DJ Hours. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies is first. Tale of the Princess Kaguya. Uh, the Wind Rises. And. Okay. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was too much momentum forward. The Wind Race is sad, but it's because it's basically a documentary in anime form. Isn't that literally what Graves of the Fireflies was, essentially, too? That's really fucking solid, actually. Alright, let me see if I can land bomb him. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Ooh, a little late. Also, where the fuck is, like... Man, I hate it when I leave shit in my office and Kayla just, like, moves it without even asking. Fucking pisses me off, man. Because, like, I leave things where I want them and then I can't fucking find them. Ugh. Whatever. She was probably clean something. Princess Kaguya has a good art style. Well, I mean, I thought Grace of the Fireflies art was like insanely well. Like it held. Like even though it was like literally like made the, the year that I was born, like the quality of it did not deter me from watching it. Cause like, you know, sometimes when you watch an anime and it's like insanely dated to the point that it almost turns you off. That, that movie was phenomenal. I think Princess Kazuya is the most expansive Japanese animated film. Ooh, that's fun. That's a lot of big words on there. There we go. Ah, I fucked it up. Hold it. Here we go. Alright, now this. Ah, uh, I need to hold left a little more. There we go. Alright, what's next? Alright. Ah, <laughs> short hop. <laughs> Okay, not that. Okay, there you go. That's not, that's not a hard trick to do, actually. When I watch it, it feels like a traditional painting is moving. Oh, that's so cool. What the hell? It costs it 53 million? What? That's insane. What the fuck? Jesus. It's a lot of money.
This one's a fairly easy trick. Next. Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, let's practice. Weeps are rich as fuck. I mean, good content deserves to be, a, you know, paid for. And they probably, like, invested a lot to making something really good. Morning, what's up? Where's your pep at last, motherfuckers? Where's your pep at last, bitches? I'm waiting. What happened? Weren't you saying pep at last? Where are they? Putos? Putos? Motherfuckers? Yo, you got any games you're excited for coming out? The new Pokemon and Elden Ring are literally like, oh, on my, on my cooming list. Here we go. Oh, Elden Ring. What the fuck? I'm excited for your mom coming out. That doesn't even make sense. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that make no sense. My mom is not gay. <laughs> She's boomer as fuck. Oh, dope. Actually live? Yeah, what's going on, Korda? Um, so, so just, just rule of thumb. Whenever you see exclamation mark watch it on on the title, that's usually why you want to check. That means that I'm offline. But uh, I like to let you guys have, you know, cozy, nostalgic, or just in general content that could just be, you know, like almost like television. You can put in the background while you do other stuff, if you're working or whatever, you know. If you're allowed to have like audio or something, then you, you can always have like something to fill in the dead air. I call it Sly Fox Town GTV. I was thinking about calling it Sly TV, but it reminded me of what pa Paperbat did, and I didn't want to do that. I was like, nah, I'll good. Because, like, Paperbat did something called, like, Paperbat TV or something like that. I'm like, I'm good. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I was like, eh. Oh, how did you like Grace of the Fireflies? It was so depressing. I loved it. It, it did its job. It made me feel... What the fuck is going on? My my movement is like really good right now. Are you seeing this chat? Are you guys fucking seeing this? This is insane. What the fuck is going on? I think it's from the rum hack. No, I, I'll be honest. I've been like kind of taking care of myself a little bit more the past few days. I've been doing a lot of like good things for myself mentally and physically. And I think I feel way better than I have in a while. So I'm going to just keep doing whatever the fuck I'm doing, you know? If you have noticed, I have been actually streaming more often. Outside from watchathons too, you know? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have caught that. What the fuck is going on? Holy shit. Also, I don't think the rum helped me at all. That rum actually did not help me. Because there's tech in, in that rum that is not in here. here we go. I mean, that's really solid. Let me see if I can blend it again. Alright, the bomb is really small in this one, but let me see if I can make it work. Don't stop my door. I have flashbacks. 
Look at me, don't man, I don't that. Look at me, don't man, I don't that. Oh, no! Ah! That was all close. Hope you got to eat plenty in Thanksgiving. I stuff myself until I kill. Oh, dude, the food coma hit like a motherfucker. The food coma hit like a brick. It was great. Holy shit, what is happening? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I might be, I might be getting ready to like start speedrunning again, boys. It feels like we're getting to be speedrunner ready. This is kind of sick. I thought it was going to take me a little bit more, but we'll see. The artist made a song in the new low anime? Really? Yeah, the muscle memory is kicking in hard. All right, let's let's move to the next trick. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, fuck! I hate this one. All right, let's 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 do it so much that I won't hate it. Oh no, it's one, two, and then triple jump on the other one. Okay. Can I link it? Yeah, go for it. One, two. Mm, did not happen. Uh, by the way, uh, subs can link stuff. I'm I'm giving subs the benefit of the doubt, and if you fuck up, I'll just ban you forever and laugh at you. You know. So, let me see this. Let me hear this bitch. Moyavi made this. I don't know. I'll be honest though. Outside, I don't I don't know if he has made a song that hits as hard as the other one that I like a lot. Let me hear this. Let me hear this. I'm bumping this in my audio. Okay, hold up. What? Okay. 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 What's happening? Let's go!
I like all of that. that. All of that was great. All of that was awesome. Holy shit. It's not, it's not flashback, but it's not bad. It's not flashback, but it's not bad. I fuck with it. I fucks with it. Flashback's probably his greatest song, but I, this song has grown on me pretty hard. As I said, it's simple, but it has for some reason. Let me hear this. Let me hear all these. Let me hear this. Let's see. One second. I'm muting Mario so we can hear the song. Nice. What was that? <laughs> like riding a bike, baby. Hey, Lutz, how you doing? Mm. Oh, I had a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for asking. The fuck? Hmm. Okay. I have an idea. Oh. Oh. Maybe that's it. Hold up. Let's go. Brain blast. <laughs> That's three in a row, baby. That's three in a row. That's three in a row, muchachos. That's three in a row, amigos. That's three in a row, amigos. Let's go. That's not bad. That's what we call consistency, boys. Four. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh! All right, that's fine. Next, Ugh. All right. That was pretty good. I like that. It's not my favorite. Still no flashback, but it's not bad, you know? So this, this trick is kind of weird because I have to align myself like in the middle and then jump directly. So let me see if I can. Eh, that works. It's not what I wanted to do, but let me reset. Yeah, I guess the hard tricks are pretty solid though. Oh, by the way, uh, even though uh, normally the only people that can post links without getting timed out are 
uh, people that are sub, but uh, I can still see their link. Let me see. I got you. Let me see. Have you heard of this? Let me see. Wait, no, what? I got one for you. I first heard this when I, fu when I found your original channel. What is this? <laughs> I'm not going to listen to that. <laughs> Thank you. I will not be listening to Daddy Yankee. <laughs> 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 If you want something better than Flash, I can get better, any better than this. Oh, yeah. Armadillos keep digging. Armadillos keep digging. This is Kate Kono as fuck. Armadillos keep digging. Little holes in my backyard. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, I don't want to listen to that. <laughs> I just, I heard the part that I like. That's it. Armadillos keep digging. Little holes in my backyard. That's it. Thank you. That's that's what that's what we were waiting for. Oh. All right, we did it. <laughs> now let's try to do that more consistently, shall we? All right. Armadillos keep digging. Little holes in my backyard. Chat, let me practice a little bit. I don't want to touch no links at the moment. I'll check them out later. Damn! All right. Two in a row. What the fuck? This is one of those tricks that I never really got consistently. What is happening? Why am I getting all these tricks so consistently lately? Hello? I mean, not lately. I just... This is like my first time practicing practicing. So, let's see. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Apolo no, no, don't apologize. It's just right now I'm trying to like practice. If I keep going back and forth, I'm not gonna like get anything done, you know? Just be patient. Is the DJ now shining through you? <laughs> you think? Oh, I fucked it up. I mucked it up. So I think, I think the way that I'm able to like face through that wall is that I had to like jump at the peak of this right here. You see, you see this little ding dong here, this little edge. I need to jump at the peak of it. I'm a Come on. Hello? Let's just reset the whole thing. Armadillos keep digging. Little holes in my backyard. See, even if that doesn't work, just even doing that, because, like, the worst that, that I have is, like, then I lose a little bit of time doing this, but... Who cares? It's a small time save, but... Kind of nice. Oh. <laughs> finally caught a stream. Hope you are doing well. Yo, UMP Nova, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking or wishing well. Appreciate the 49s. Welcome back. Oh, by the way, uh, I do have an official schedule change coming up when it comes to, like, what times you can expect streams to spawn. Uh, I had Kayla make the change for us. Um, I think evening streams, yeah, evening streams are definitely going to be at 9 p.m. It just gives me a little more wiggle room to do other stuff. So if, like, because, again, like, having two streams a day is not guaranteed. More so, like, I'm trying to just maybe shoot for one at least. But uh, 
me pushing the night stream from 7 to 9 allows me to, uh, one, stream a little bit more for DJ hours, because, like, if I'm into the game, I'll probably stream 3 to 5 hours. So, like, we'll hit, like, midnight or be in the AMs. And, uh, the morning stream is still the same. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be at 9 a.m. So, 9 a.m. or 9 p.m., the chances remain the same. It just, I'm switching from something, it, I, I don't know. I found myself not getting enough rest in between, you know? Like I wasn't tired enough, and when I did get tired enough, I couldn't get enough rest. So I'm just trying to do what, what I think is best for me. So 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. DJ Crab Hour games, fuck all the neighbors complain. See, my neighbors, none of my neighbors complain actually. Even though like, my office is really close to, to I mean, not really close. But like, the house closest to my office, the neighbor just recently moved there. Cause like that house, man, I don't know if it was haunted or possessed or something, but like people could not just stay living there. I think people were like renting or something like that. And then uh, I think the, this new couple, I think it's a, a white dude and I think it's a, a Hispanic ch chick. I don't know if she's Hispanic. I know the neighbors to my left are Hispanic. The neighbors to my front and and front left are Hispanic. And the neighbors to the far left are Hispanic too. So like I'm I'm literally surrounded by Puerto Ricans. But like I haven't really gotten a noise complaint ever in the in the seven plus years that I've been here. I haven't really gotten a noise complaint, which is kinda dope. Cause like that would suck. That's the right way to do it, too, by the way. You want to, like, land? Oh, man. So I need to then far away camp. That's what I need to do, too. Wait. So in the house, there's a guy that goes, ha, ha, ha. And there's another. Well, yeah. So, so all right. So there's. Let, let, let me paint you a picture. So, so I'm, like, in a, in a U area. So, like, I'm in a U. And then there's, like, a street. So I have neighbors to, to the left and the right. And then I have neighbors in front of me. And I only have two houses in front of me. So, I do have a white person that is, like, completely white, white. His name is Greg. This old man named Greg. And he's been really cool with us lately. Because, like, you know, it's been long enough. And, like, he, he's like, I like you guys. And I'm like, well, that's kind of nice. He tries to flirt with my mom all the time. And then when my mom shows up, he kind of wimps out. I'm like, wait. Don't you, like, he'll tell me, he's like, where's my fiance? I'm like, fiance? She's like, yeah, your mother. I'm like, oh, oh, she's doing great. <laughs> she's doing great. I'm like, you want me to, like, hook you up with my mom? <laughs> he's like, you think you can? I'm like, well, she told me she doesn't want to be with anybody, but it'll be really funny to see you get rejected in front of me. She's like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, I mean, if you're making jokes, I'm going to make jokes too. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It, 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 his name is Greg, but Greg is short for Gregory. Because, like, the other day, Kayla goes and tells me that Greg was telling me about how a little girl came over to his house. Nothing weird, by the way, in chat. Like, he's super sweet. Uh, and the little girl goes and asks Greg, hey, what's your real name? And he goes, oh, my name is Gregory. Also, by the way, chat, if you heard that flute sound, exclamation mark, heads up. That means that in the next minute or so, three minute words of ads will be playing. So if you would like to have an ad free experience, please consider subscribing. You can do that for free with Amazon Prime or you can subscribe out of pocket or even get lucky and get blessed by an oil baron. You know, then real rich people, SFH rich people, you know, then Bitcoin owners. But regardless, in the next minute or so, three minutes of ads will be happening. Just as up. But uh, Greg was telling Kayla, and Kayla told me, and then I kind of like retouched the story. I'm like, so Greg, what happened with that girl that asked you about your name? He's like, oh, you would not believe it. I'm like, what happened? He goes, I, she goes and asks about my, my, my name, because you know, she was like, Greg, Greg is like really nice. He bakes a lot, so like, Everybody in the neighborhood will get like Greg's cookies and like he makes like rum cakes and shit like that. And dude, we have like 20 different rum cakes in our house. 
Like, I'm getting fat because of Greg, but I don't really eat them. I would be getting fat if I were to eat them, but... Greg tells me, oh yeah, I was asking her what's your favorite color and whatnot, and then she asks me my name, cause like, she goes, oh, Greg must not be your real name. I was like, no, it's, it's a nickname. And I'm like, so what happened, Greg? He's like, well, I told that little girl my name, and you cannot believe what she did. I'm like, what happened? She's like, well, I said, well, my my name is Greg. And she goes, ew. <laughs> he fucking, the little girl fucking ew his name. That's fucked up, dude. That's so fucked up. <laughs> oh, and again, let, let me paint you a picture. He's an old man. He's old, white hair, wrinkly. And like, normally, anybody that first moves into the neighborhood thinks he's scary. Because, like, the way that his house is laid out, he has cameras outside his house, you know, for protection, just for safety. But, like, he can see everything. Like, he can see whenever I go out of my house. He can see whenever any other neighbor goes out. So, he's, like, also kind of, like, low-key, like, neighborhood watch kind of deal. So, so, she goes and tells me, yeah, that little punk said my name was ugly. <laughs> I'm like, dude, Greg, I would have been like, yeah? Or your mom is ugly. It's like, I can't do that. <laughs> but then uh, he goes and says, because uh, like once once we were done with Thanksgiving, I was thinking about Greg. So I was like, shit, let, let's, let's hug Greg with some food. Because like, I don't think he's married or if he is, he's no longer married. Like he's living by himself. His son is not living with him. So like, I don't know. He's, he's a nice old dude. Like, he's not... There's nothing weird about him outside of the fact that he's just old and maybe he has dated, like, ideas and ideologies. Which, like, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Because, like, boomers will be boomers, right? What if he's a secretly a fan of your channel? I doubt it. I doubt it. I, I don't think he, he has a computer. Or if he has a computer, he probably just watches, like, Western movies with cowboys and horses and shit like that, dude. That would be funny, though. Because, like, what, what was it? He goes he goes and he's like, hey, I left you guys three little rum cakes. One for you, one for, for Kayla, and one for your mother. Because my mom, like, was the one that hooked us up with the food to, like, then. I was like, hey, this is from, from my mom's side. We wanted to give you some, like, rice and panini, you know. Have some have some flavor in your white life, Greg. Have some flavor in your white life. You know, salt and pepper is not the only seasonings that exist. Trust. This is going to be really good. This is going to be really good. Trust me. And he's like, anytime that he like constantly gets us like cookies, cakes and shit like that. But when we ask him, what does he like? Because we want to do like nice gestures and give him some nice stuff back. Like, you know, food, pizza, whatever. He always denies it, so I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna give you the food that we get or whatever we make, and if you wanna throw in the garbage, then throw in the garbage. But I'm gonna give you stuff because we don't ask you for cookies, we don't ask you for any of this stuff, but you leave it on top of my car, you leave it on my door, and it's really nice. We wanna do something nice back, but he doesn't let us, so I'm gonna forcefully do nice things in return. So when I gave him the food that my mom made, the other day, he goes and leaves all those, like, nice cakes and cookies. He's like, hey, that's for you, for you, and, and for, for Kayla and for your mother. Uh, but he goes, this is for my fiance. <laughs> Motherfucker keeps calling her that. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then he goes, hey, uh, you, you know I'm joking, right? Like, I, I hope she has a sense of humor. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, my mom has a sense of humor. I'm her kid. She has to have a sense of humor. I was born from her. So, she better fucking laugh, cause <laughs> like that he oh dude no his pastry like his cookies he makes like chocolate chip cookies they're so good they're so good I will f I was woofing them dude I was like numbing the hell out of them they're really the dude cooks really good like when Christmas and like the holidays come like his shit is solid. Solid as fuck. But, like, my goal is, like, you know, older people are very serious normally, right? So, my goal and intention always is to, like, make him laugh. 
So like, I'll see what jokes he tries to do and the play on that he tries to do and I just fuck with him. We both fuck with each other and it's hilarious. Like he'll, he'll, he'll come out some days without a shirt. Cause you know, old people do that. And like, I'll, I'll go out and take puppy chef and puppy cop to pee. And I'll go, hey, Greg, I didn't pay for this show, but how much? He's like, Eddie, the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, hey, if you don't want me flirting with you, then don't show me the nipples. If you don't want me kicking it at you, then stop presenting it. The other day he uh, the other day he had like a like a chef's outfit, like he had like the white shirt and like the the like the typical chef hat, cause he was like baking and he didn't want hair to get on it. And I'm like, oh my god, look at you! <laughs> and, he, and he got all flustered. He's like, what, what, what? I'm like, you look great, Greg. You look great. Like I generally like try to compliment the dude and like gas him up, cause like I don't know, I don't I don't know if anybody does that. But like, I don't know, I just try to have fun with my neighbors. Alright, this trick is pretty solid, I want to say. It's inconsistent, but who gives a fuck? Yeah, Greg is fun. Uh, I'll let you know more Greg stories as I go. Oh, the funny thing is, no, no, the funny thing is, one day I was, uh, I was, I was mowing the lawn, I was taking care of my yard, and, uh, my mom came and visited and this was after I had a conversation where, like, he did the joke about my mom being his girlfriend. So, like, I'm like, oh, this is it. I'm going to fucking put it on the spot. And, dude, he pussied out. I'm like, hey, Greg, your girlfriend is here. And he's like, uh, 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 uh. he, like, lifted his hand like, hi. Uh. And then when my mom left, then he came over. He's like, what am I going to do with you, Eddie? What am I going to do with you? I'm like, what am I going to do? What are you going to do with me? What are you going to do to my mom? What happened? You pussied out, Greg. This is your shot. She's like, you know I'm joking. I'm like, I'm joking too. <laughs> As a white guy, I find Diet Coke too spicy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was an unprovoked statement, but hey. Go off, King. <laughs> I don't know what provoked you to say that, but hey, go off. I think Chipotle meat is kind of spicy. You know, as a Hispanic Puerto Rican dude, I don't really like spices that much, really. I'm not a fan. I recently started getting into spicy stuff, but not so much. I got a bitch tongue. Greg, Sly and Greg sound like both top tier neighbors. Dude, I try to like hype up all my neighbors. I'm pretty nice with all my neighbors personally. With also reason that if anybody goes, hey Sly or hey Eddie, are you okay? The other day I heard you, you were yelling. I'm like, no, that's that's just me working. And they're like, oh, what? I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I that's my job. I work from my home. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So you were not getting murdered. I'm like, no, I was getting murdered in a video game. And I'm like, ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I love spicy food, but I don't like the flavor of peppers. Mm, okay, that's fair. Also, what the fuck? I was watching that. Uh, I was watching that Grave of the Fireflies. And there was a part where, like, I don't know why, but I, I'm like, damn, I'm a fucking, I'm immature as fuck. <laughs> like, so, 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 I'm not going to try to spoil in case somebody will want to watch it, even though that shit is 30 years old. But at one point, one of the characters said that they had, like, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good time to say it then. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for the hose in the rain. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. I'll bring it later then. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about uh we're talking about the fact that I watched my first Studio Ghibli movie and how I'm immature as fuck even though it was like the saddest part. Was that a good time? I was going to I was going to mention the fact that in one of the part in the movie, one of the characters 
I realize how immature I am as a person because, like, it's a really sad movie throughout the whole time. From beginning to end, the movie's sad. And I'm like, I did that on purpose because I want to get, like, the sad movies out of the way so then I can finish with, like, the best ones and, like, the more happy ones, right? But in this movie, I chuckle to myself. And I'm like, damn, you're really fucking immature. One of the, like, the characters was suffering with, from with diarrhea. And they're like... I have diarrhea, and I just burst it out laughing. <laughs> I'm like, why, why does the word diarrhea make me laugh? This is so sad. <laughs> like, grow the fuck up. <laughs> it's like the whole movie's like tremendously sad, but like I laughed twice because like something sad ongoingly happens in the movie, and you think at one point it's gonna stop. But then it happened again, and I just started laughing. I'm like, God damn, when does this stop? When, when Can I catch a break? Can these characters catch a fucking break? God damn. I watched, I watched it uh, I watched it in the original language. I watched it with subtitles. I can't watch anime dubbed unless it's like something like Dragon Ball or like things that I got used to. Like I, I think Cowboy Bebop, the anime, uh, in English is peak. Like, the voice is of Spike is so... Oh, that anime in English is perfect. I don't give a fuck. But, like, other stuff I would not care. Because I remember watching Dragon Ball in English. Because, you know, to anybody that had Toonami, Cartoon Network, and all that stuff, we kind of, like, grew up watching Dragon Ball in English, right? Uh, but then I wanted to watch Dragon Ball Super when it was coming out. And man, I fucking hate, I fucking hate Goku's voice. I, I just like, I'm like, God damn, man. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, God. Sonic X is the only anime you should watch dub. Dude, Sonic and Sonic anime is just very bait. Sonic is just furry bait, period. Oh, sub. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I mean, still, it's it's furry bait. That I keep my statement. Sonic is just furry bait. Why am I fucking this up? Proud furry here. Uh, my I have a bunch of my my closest friends and even my editor. They're a bunch of furries too. I might not be one and don't care for the for the comedian that way, but I'm not going to yuck somebody else's yum, you know? More power to you. Would I do it? Not in a million years. Do I give a fuck if you do it? Not at all. Go for it. You mean Fearless Spike? What do you mean? What, what are we talking about, Vintage? Oh, by the way, uh, quick little thing. Anytime that anybody new that is watching follows, my glasses does the very cool thing that I look like an anime character. It, go it goes like this. So if you see my glasses do that, that means that somebody follow, and I saw them following me. I'm aware. <laughs> very cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> and uh, by the way, to anybody wondering what the fuck am I doing, I'm practicing certain like things that uh, I haven't done in a while. Uh, I'm gonna try to speed run Mario 64 again here soon. So I'm trying to like do like the hard tricks so I can get back into the flow. So right now we're just kind of chilling as I practice. Uh, Cowboy Bebop Spike's real name is Fearless. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I watched the first episode, the live action, and man, that was so boring. But I do hear that some people say that it gets progressively better. So I'm going to give it a shot because I did finish Old Cowboy Bebop at one point when I was younger. So, eh. We'll see. Also, I heard everybody saying that the last episode for the live action was really bad. But I'm assuming that they would just press and butt her on how they depicted Ed. Which, I mean, it, from the from the spoiler that I saw, it felt kind of on point of how Ed acts. It just, I don't know. It feels like weebs are kind of like Nintendo fans you, or like Pokemon fans. You can't ever please them. 
Like if you if you're if you're loyal to how the enemy is, they don't like that. If you switch something up, they don't like that. You know what? Fuck everybody. You know, either you like it or you don't. Deal with it. But not to say that there is not live action animes that are pretty good. Cause um uh, isn't Alice in Borderlands like an anime too or a manga? And I watched that after I watched Squid Game and that I personally think Alice in Borderlands is way better than Squid Games. Like, I was hooked throughout the whole time. I'm like, damn, this is so good. This is so good. But yeah, uh, we, we're just here talking about the fact that I watched my first Studio Ghibli movie from beginning to end. Because I, I feel like I watched some of them, but I kind of like passed out or didn't watch the whole thing. So that movie was Grave of the Fireflies. And now I'm depressed. Hopefully it'll go away soon. Did you see Mr. Beast Squid Game video? No, but I'll probably watch that at, uh, not at DJ Hours. Yo, Vintage, have a great rest of your day or night, all right? Thank you so much for stopping by. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until I watch that. Grave of the Fireflies, just bad things happening to kids. The movie. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you, if you wanna, if you wanna completely dwarf the scenario, I guess that's one way of putting it. Hey, Tuala, how you doing? Yeah, it's World War II, the movie, essentially. But like. I, I know this, this, I don't know if, if, if this is fair to say, but it's like, isn't it like just Loser's POV, World War II, which kind of sucks, but it's good to like see the other end too, you know, it humanizes and kind of like shows you the other side. I'm working now. You better work. You want Netflix? You want food? You want to dance? You better work. Don't get me wrong, I like the movie. Dude, it was my first experience watching it. Like, it, again, this was, like, my first, first, like, legit, like I said, Studio Ghibli movie that I watched. And I wanted to take the approach of, like, let me watch all the saddest things first. Let me get all the gut-wrenching, all the heart pain, all of it out of the way. Immediately. Let me get it out of the way. And then I'll start. So I'm going to go. I think, I essentially, everybody keeps saying Grace of the Fireflies is the, the saddest one. So now I'm gonna tackle the other ones. I, I, my goal was to like rip the bandaid off, you know? And I did. Also, when I was done, Kayla goes, are you done with the movie? I'm like, yeah, I'm really sad. She's like, okay, good. I didn't want to watch it. And I'm like, wait a second, have you ever watched this movie? Because, like, she told me that she actually bought the DVD uh, or had the DVD when she was younger. And she watched, like, the first 15 movies and stopped it because it was too sad. I'm like, first of all, you're weak, pussy. <laughs> and she's like, no, it's just really fucking sad. <laughs> I watched the first when I was five or six and I woke up at night to throw up. Damn. It's just really sad. And, well, I couldn't find it. The only two places that I could have buy it or rent it was on Apple TV or something called Voodoo. But then my, 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 my homie here, uh, Panda, came clutch and got me uh, a link where you can watch the whole thing on YouTube without paying. I'm like, I'm going to do that. It's a really sad movie. It's a really, really sad movie. I'm just a masochist, I'll be honest. I... I like watching things that make me feel, you know? And I don't think feeling bad is a bad thing, technically. Because, like, when you feel bad, you have a little bit of, like, uh, what, it, what you have some perspective on what it feels to be really good, too, you know? So I like to, like, watch things that just make me feel overall.
Yeah, War Tribes is super gut wrenching. I don't, I don't think I have watched many war movies or whatnot. So it's not something that I proactively like chase to look at, but Studio Ghibli makes bomb ass movies apparently. So I'm gonna have to watch them all. And apparently, I am, I'm failing as a weave for not watching Studio Ghibli movies. Cause like when I told this to Michael, he's like. I am so like I'm, I'm gonna try to like sound like Michael. I am so shocked that you have not watched this. I'm like, oh, I mean, I didn't have access to this shit. My bad. Like I, I never had access, and I, I don't know. Spirit away is my favorite movie. I, I'm like I said, I'm I'm watching sad things first. So I think, what, what's the next one that I should watch? I already watched the hardest one, right? I already played the Dark Souls. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other ones. So what, what will be the next sad movie that I gotta watch? Since I already ripped the band-aid. Actually, yeah, if anybody tells me, I'll write the name. Princess Kaguya? Alright, let me write that then. Give me a second, I wanna write that. The Wind Rises and Princess Kaguya. Yeah, let me write that. Give me a second, chat. I'm gonna write it here on a sticky note. Princess Kaguya and the Wind Rises. So that's what Kayla says when I fart. Eddie, the Wind Rises. I'm like, true. I don't know why Kayla sounds like Vane, but Eddie, the Wind Rises from your butthole. So far on HBO Max. Alright, dope. I think watch the popular ones last. That's the point. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna save the best for last kind of deal. But it doesn't matter that I haven't watched all the movies, right? I can keep my weep car on still, right? I don't lose my weep status because I haven't watched all the movies, right? It doesn't matter. Also, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks, but... <laughs> Grace of the Fireflies is on Netflix, but I don't think it's in America. I think you could have watched it somewhere else. If I would have VPNed it, I think I would have been able to watch it, but I was too lazy. Ironically, all the happy ones are Disney owned. I mean, they know their market. It's on Netflix Canada. There you go. Canadians always getting all the things. That was a funny one, Command Comrade Wolf. That was a funny one. You actually made me genuinely chuckle. Hey, Sly, is that you? For a second, I thought I was. You were Chris Hensworth, cause how beautiful you look today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My inflated eagle appreciates it. <laughs> Stupid. How you doing, Wolf? <laughs> Very cool. Hey, what, hey, what the fuck is this? Hey, wh where am I? Is this beautiful world? Hey, what the hell? Hey, what the hell? Is it beautiful world? I don't have Netflix, and my local Netflix has dog shit. Why do they have dog shit? Oh, that was dumb. Doing okay, just sent out a bit, trying to figure out what to play High Wars 2 or Pokemon. What, what do you mean? Age of Calamity? Dude, I've been like playing Age of Calamity on my own. Like on my own time. I love it. I love it. Uh, I beat the main story now. I'm trying to like 100% it. And then once I 100% that, 
Uh, I found areas that I can farm rupees, and I need to figure out where I can farm weapons. But uh, once I beat 100% the main game, then I'll buy the DLC. But, I mean, Pokemon Pro is fine. High Rewards is fine. I mean, you know, either or is good, in my opinion. Are we in the world where everyone has sharp jaw lines and abs? What is this? Beautiful world? What the fuck is these jumps? I have abs just under a layer of fat. I have abs too. They're just DLC and I haven't bought them yet. We're trying to do. I'm practicing movement at the moment, and uh, I'm practicing hard to do tricks, essentially. So it, it's I, I'm I'm emphasizing muscle memory because when you speed run the game, what you want to do is constantly get the best time or, or improve your time. So if I don't practice certain like bread and butters or like certain things that are just essential to like cutting down time, because right now. There's no, like, even, like, a timer back there. Normally, there should be a timer back there. But right now, I'm not even doing that. Because, like, my main focus is to get better at it. Also, like, you know what's really funny, though? I've been I've been learning more and more and more about this. But, like, the idea of, like, dudes being ripped or whatnot, well, it might seem sought after by a lot of, like, opposite gender or the opposite. Apparently, dudes are the ones that are into muscles. Well, some females will, will like it or whatnot. It's also more like, what, what is it? What do they call it? Male gaze? I don't know what that means. But I hear that. It's like, it's more appealing to the male gaze. I'm like, I, I'm i going to fill the blanks and I'm going to say that guys like that. I think so. So, yeah, I'm just practicing movement. And in this place, there's particular starts that I need. Also, I need to remember all the starts that I need to get because I feel like I've forgotten. So, we're just practicing. I don't like muscular dude. Choose his own. I heard that some dudes that like thicker ladies apparently don't like how they don't like people calling them fat girls. They like calling their their chunky ladies uh chubby bunnies. I'm like, "Okay, interesting." Like, I didn't know about that. Chubby bunnies. That's the term, apparently. It's like, oh, I don't like skinny girls. I like chubby bunnies. I'm like, all right, go you. <laughs> Here we go. That's an ice cream flavor. <laughs> well, I, rem I remember I remember working at a, at a yarn factory for a bit, and in this yarn factory, a lot of the workers were, like, people that, like, did crimes and, like, had to, like, get a job. So this, this dude would, like, get those type of people mo mostly, because, like, you know, he could have... Con it, it was kind of scummy. It was because it, it felt like it was done with the intention of, like, I know you need this job, and if you fuck up... I'm going to get you in trouble. So a lot of the people that I used to work at this yarn factory were, you know, people that did time in jail and now are trying to, like, be better people. And, you know, normally, like, if you have a criminal record, you wouldn't get, like, a lot of job opportunities. So this person was being smart in a shitty way by hiring these type of people, give them a chance. But you can tell that it was kind of scummy. Like, it was very apparent. And through that job, I was able to, like, know a lot about, you know, get old terms and slang and whatnot and uh there was this guy named lewis in there and i remember he, he was like a really chunky dude like really chunky sh head shaved really ghetto always would dress nice and uh i remember i i remember being uh, taking taking a break at lunch and he's like yo yo and like he had like a really high pitched voice he's like yo bro let me tell let me ask you something and i'm like what's up lewis he's like Yo, you ever, do you eat ass? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going with this? 
What's happening? He's like, bro, you sound like you don't eat ass. I'm like, well, yeah, I don't. What the fuck? That's where poop comes from. He's like, man, you're missing out. You're missing out. Listen, I was, I was, I was in my apartment, and this no bunny came, and I ate her ass. And I'm like, God damn, Lewis, what the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> and I'm like, what is, you, you ate a bunny's asshole? That's sick. He's like, bro, you don't get it. Uh, a snow bunny is a fine ass white chick. And I'm like, oh, that's what you call that. He's like, yeah, a white girl. A snow bunny! I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So I guess there's a lot of turns to use the, the word. Why does... Dude, he... No joke, Lewis looked like Boo. No joke, Lewis looked like Boo from Dragon Ball. No joke, no joke, no joke. A hundred percent. In in another life, he was Boo from Dragon Ball. No joke. But, like, the dude was hard. And apparently, I, I again, he would tell me about things that I never asked. I'm like, constantly in my mind, I was like, askers? Why are you telling me this? But he was like, boring, and he wanted somebody to talk to. I'm like, all right, I guess I'm that person. But I remember the reason why it, you would not think that this guy would get females. But the thing is, I found out that the reason why he would, like, get laid a lot, and he explained this to us. Is that he had like a long fat cock? I'm like, okay, interesting. Thanks for sharing. And <laughs> apparently, there was this manager lady in our in in the factory itself, in the factory itself. And I remember she would come out every now and then when we were eating in the lunch room, and everybody would clown her. It was like, yo, yo, get the huggies, get the huggies, get the huggies. And I'm like, what the fuck? What do you mean get the huggies? Apparently, so so I'm like, guys, can you explain this? Because, like, I love inside jokes. I love jokes. I, I love it. Please, I want to be part of this. I feel left out. All of you are laughing. He's like, oh, they're like, I got you. I got you. Louis goes, I got you. I got you. But you can't tell anybody that is working here because I'll get in trouble. I'm like, well, apparently all of you guys know. So who the fuck else needs to know? He goes, well, that lady... We actually had sex. I'm like, okay. But she's like, no, but like, I didn't fuck her normally. I fucked her in the ass. I'm like, god damn, Lewis. Why do you have so many of these stories? He's like, yo, listen, listen, yo, listen. Let me tell you why we call her Huggies. I'm like, ugh, do I really want to know? He's like, trust me, you're going to laugh. I'm like, okay. Okay, Lewis, okay. He's like... Well, the thing is, you know that she's kind of old. I'm like, yeah, she's kind of older. She's like, it was a lady in her, like, 40s going into, like, her 45-ish. Kind of like, eh, you know, older, blonde lady. And I'm like, so you had sex with her? She's like, yeah, but, like, I fucked her in the ass. And I'm like, that's kind of normal for a lot of you guys, isn't it? She's like, yeah, yeah, that's normal, that's normal. But she fucked up, dog. She fucked up. I'm like, what did she do? She's like, <laughs> he goes, dude, I was hitting her from the back, and then when I pulled my dick out, she shit it on my dick. <laughs> the bitch shit it on my dick. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do I need to know this? And I'm like, dude, I kicked her out, and I'm like, bitch. Apparently, I had some diapers from another bitch that I fucked. <laughs> so I, I'm like, here, take this. And I hit her with the huggies. I'm like, what? What the fuck happened? It's like, yeah, I fucked her. She shit on my dick. So I, I hit her with some diapers. I like, get the fuck out. And take these, take, <laughs> take these diapers, you shitty hoe. I'm like, holy shit. So... Every time she would come out and Louis was there, everybody would clown on her. I'm like, dude, that's really mean. She's like, more mean was the fact that she shitted on my dick. 
I'm like, okay, Lewis. Okay. Okay, Lewis. All right. All right. She had one in the chamber. Oh, come on, Chad. Grow up. <laughs> grow up. Still very funny. But grow up. Hey, Sly, I came in at an interesting time. That lady that got fucked in her ass apparently did too. But what came out of her was not pleasant. <laughs> I didn't have breakfast, but my appetite. Ah, it's fine. You'll be hungry later. <laughs> Sorry, Tuala. I'll play Genshin Impact here in a bit, and then maybe that can rekindle your love for the stream. I apologize. That was all on me. All right, let's practice Lackey 2 Skip. Nope. I'm working now. I need the energy. Understandable, understandable. Dude, I have so much content to do in Genshin. I'm like so far behind, but uh, I signed up on my account yesterday because uh, Jelly, Jelly, uh, Jelly is part of that program where like if you give two subs to his channel when he's live, you get a code on Twitch so you can get like the KFC wings. Like I mean, I'll be honest, I don't give a fuck about the wings, but I just want to support a homie that got a really good opportunity going on. You know, celebrate your homie's achievements. So I was like, all right, I'll sign up and get them and put them on. Fuck. Sly, when was the last time you touched Unite? I haven't, but I will be here soon. I haven't played with Rip Rowlet yet. Damn, that. What's happening? What am I doing wrong? Oh, not that. There you go. Mixed feelings about Rowlet? It feels like it feels like it's uh, from the little that I've seen because I was watching a pro play it, and like it seems like the damage is not that good. It looks like the C do I looks really cool, but it's like I don't know if if he's like, you know, anytime that a new character comes out, like you know that they're inherently broken just because they want you like, you know, it's a bait normally, right? Like they they want you like buy the character because they'll make you believe that it's a really strong character. But like, I don't know if that's the case with Rowley at the moment. Nice. His kid is cool, but he's no Greninja or Cinderace. He needs a damage buff. Maybe. If they see that people are not buying Rowley, they'll probably buff it so people actually buy it. Hey. Buen provecho. Enjoy your food. That's bad. I need to figure out a good consistent angle for this and how, uh, a good setup for this. Maybe? Ooh! I don't care, I'll still be similar now with my Castle Crossel. Oh yeah, I saw the, I saw it has a really cool skin. But yeah, I, you know, it sucks. A lot of the games that I'm really hyped lately just die on impact. Or like the fan base just doesn't really like translate, which kind of sucks. Cause there's been a lot of games like I, I was really looking forward to Pokemon Unite, but the fan base is not really there, unfortunately. Yo, take care, squirrel. doing wrong how can I line this up more consistently? damn what <laughs> funny I think the reason is because rank still needs to get tweaked and people are still whining about Sapdos yeah, one of my favorite speedrunners said that he didn't like uh, Unite because of Sapdos. 
And I, I personally like Zapdos. I feel like it's such a like game changer. Because like a lot of times when you see people play League of Legends, if you're getting steamroll in the beginning, you're kind of fucked throughout the whole thing. But like that's not the case with Unite. If you're getting steamroll, you can come back with Zapdos. It's a pretty decent comeback mechanic. But it's, people just didn't see it like that, and they got really pressed about it. So I'm like, eh, that sucks. Also, I swear people don't have the idea how to counter score. Oh yeah, no, not at all. Like, if you give up before Sapdos is taken over, then then you were not playing for the whole game. I haven't played Unite, but I heard it's pay to win. They fixed a lot of that. That's not so much the case anymore. You just need to play it for a little bit. That's what people that are bad at the game would say. Oh, it's pay to win. Like, people just want to find reasons to bitch about anything, you know? Like, did Pain give you an advantage? Yeah. But, like, that advantage now is completely nullified to an extent. Yeah, the most that you can, like, the, the most now is cosmetics. And I'll be honest, they're kind of hit or miss, actually, if I'm being honest. Not all of them are that great. Nice. Did you see the Mass Libra Gengar skin? No! What? I'm gonna have to see that when I check it out. <laughs> I need to push right a little bit when I do that. What the fuck? This happens in such an inconsistent trick throughout my whole speedrunning career. Chat, if you don't mind me asking, and if you're willing to type, I don't want to like get you out of your bed or whatever. If you're if you're being cozy, but what time is it if if you're watching? Cause this is, it's about to be seven here in like 20 minutes. Okay, me and you are in the same uh, time zone then, Panda. Okay. Jay, where are you from again? Philippines. Ah, that makes sense. 640, 20 minutes before I used to get off work. Oh, what? Is today a day off for you? Consistently, this is the Gangers King. Let me see this. Uh, yeah, I got a four day Wiggins for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's sick. That looks insanely cool. What the fuck? It looks really good, actually. Look at this shit. That looks really cool, actually. But look at this. Until you fix matchmaking, I don't really have any reason to play anymore. I was playing for hours every day. Now I haven't played in a week, and honestly, I don't miss it. I hope you fix the game soon, because that's the only way I care to come back. And I'm sure many feel the same way. <laughs> Super pretty, actually, yeah. Fuck. Yahoo! 
Well, part of me agrees with the matchmaking being hot garbage to give me still fun to play when not in rank. I, I just, I just wish they would reset rank faster. Like when, when are we gonna get a reset so I can grind back to masters? Cause that was fun. That was insanely fun for me. And I did it all by myself. I did not party with anybody. It's reset. Wait, it's reset already? Wait, it did? What? Wait, what? When did it reset? When? Oh, shit. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm going to go play it now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, finally, shit. Now I can be mad at, at ranks Yahoo! online. Yeah. Alright, let me see. Eh, this one's uh, alright, at best. Yeah. Whoop. I don't mind the hit or miss games. Fuck. Let's try that again. Where do I jump from there? I gotta figure that out. So many here, guys. Kupars, when you reset, you don't start from the beginning. You start uh, in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't that normal like that, though, already? start from the beginning you start off that if you made it to master oh i don't like that i wanted to start from the beginning beginning that's kind of lame Ugh. i don't have that much of a grind then that sucks oh it's, it. oh, it's over here Wait, what? what do i need to do for that i need to figure that out it's killing me Well, Master Rank is where the true guy begins. It's just a paint to solo. I just like grind the whole thing from the beginning. Hey, what's going on, Obsidian? Fuck! Wait, is this a good, is this a good shortcut? Oh, this works. This game is an experience? What do you mean? <laughs> I guess kinda, yeah. Is it, maybe I need to do a triple, oh, maybe that's it. Oh, is it, is it a triple jump? Wait, no, oh, is, is it this? Wait, 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 I think I figured it out. Is it, do I have to bounce off the cage, off to the wall, cage, wall, that's, Fucking A, that was it. Ah, oh, God. So many little elements, I forget. You were, yeah, yeah, so, so, cause, so, I'm 12, so I'm not playing the game 
as Nintendo intended. I'm playing the game with like understanding the basics really, really well to the point that I'm able to like skip intended things. Like I'm doing real like to a normal person that plays the game casually, I'm doing really advanced things. Now to a pro, eh, I'm doing like I guess intermediate kind of skill stuff. But eh, you know. I I'm not at my best, but I'm not at my worst. You know? It's it's impressive and it's impressive enough that if anybody watches for the first time, they go, what the fuck is happening? And I love that. And yeah, at the moment I'm practicing. Well, have you have you ever dealt with speedrunning? Has anybody here before have watched other speedruns that I have not done? I'm curious about that. Because I know I have done a lot of speedrunning. There it is. You have watched it before? Any anyone that, that you guys like watching? Spyro? I don't really care for Spyro, but it's alright. Small well, was fun when he did some. Doesn't Small and like speedrun consistently now? He does a little bit of everything though, right? He's like a variety speedrun essentially. Nope, only watch you speedrun? Understandable. Yeah, he he does like specific challenges and stuff, yeah. I like Smolan. He's dope. I don't have anything negative to say about the dude. So I watched this one guy that speedruns on the tail, but he hasn't done it well. I think he went by Onion. Life calls Onion, 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 Onion. Work all day, and then I wake up. Work all day, and then I wake up. Work all day. Ah, okay. Alright. What else do I need to do? Um, let's get out of here. I am going to save. Hold up. Okay, let me let me save this out. I'm gonna go file zero, and we're gonna save at slide. I want to practice that. My slide has been dog shit lately. I've been hitting like 14s instead of like 13s, and it's really bad. And a good slide is usually in the 12s, but I'm, I never really got to that point yet. Unfortunately. Hey, by the way, guys, exclamation point has up in the chat. If you heard that flute sound or you see anyone in chat typing people flute, that means that in the next minute and a half, three minutes worth of ass will be playing. So. If you want to avoid them and support the channel and get yourself some dope ass emails, consider subscribing. You can do that for free with Amazon Prime or you can sub out of pocket. But just letting you know, if you can't sub, that's completely fine. I'm just being a homie and letting you know as they're coming. Wait, did I save here? Yes. Nice. Ooh. Hold on. What? Holy shit. That was really good. What the fuck did I do? How did I do that?
Oh. I get it. I have to hit it in an angle. It's an angle that I have to hit it, not straight. Hold up. Let me see. I'm back to 13s. No way! No, I just forgot. Damn! I just want to know who first found all these shortcuts. They call them legends. <laughs> okay, that was that was a little bit too much of an angle. Yikes! All right. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> All right, I should have pulled back a little bit on that one. That was bad. Yikes. Ooh, what am I doing? I'm being sussy. So that's a bad angle. So I, I, that's when you hit it straight, and that's not good. You don't want to hit it straight. I want to hit it at an angle. But hey, I learned something new. And see, like now, if I hit it too much of an angle, I eat the angle. Yikes. See, I'm, I'm eating the angle because I'm not hitting it like flat straight. Like, yeah, it's, it's a weird thing. There you go. See, now I'm a little bit too far back. So I want to be more when I'm jumping out of that. You see that pillar that I'm jumping? I want to be on the left side of it, not the right side of it. The more that I'm on the right, the, the, lo the longer it's going to take me to get there. I'll let you know which pillar I'm talking about. You're about to see the pillar right now. It's going to be underneath of us. That pillar. See, I'm, I'm still coming out on the right side, which is not going to be that good. See, I'm bumping all over the place, and it's going to be still 13, which is nice. It's not the worst, you know? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I hit that. That's pretty good stuff. I'll take it. Alright. Let me do a normal run. See how it goes. That way I can figure out what I need to practice later on. We're a wrecker here. We come. <laughs> Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach.
Remember, kids, come. It's an acronym to America, Can Canada, United States, Mexico. Sure. Kuru, kuru, kuru. that up <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine I just wanted to say hi to Lucky too he's lonely from ruin not really I'm never gotten to that point where like my run is so optimized that that actually ruins something you know now if I fuck up a few more things then yeah sure we'll we'll reset but I'm not even timing this <laughs> Ah, damn. Fucking shit up left and right. Ah, let's reset. Didn't like that start. It's me, Mario. Didn't like that start. I miss Crackle Trump? We'll do it here soon. I just want to be a little more consistent. I feel like Crack and Trust will reward not only for you guys, but for myself. And I don't like to just do Crack Control randomly because it just feels like I'm just kind of like clawing at your pockets for money. So I, I feel like whenever I do Crack Control, I need to like earn it. Because essentially it is kind of easy. Money compared to like just other shit. So yeah. Yeah, Crack Control should be an event. Also, hello there, SCY5. Hopefully you're doing good. Hi, hi. I'm gonna start here, Mario My Dreams. Welcome to speedrunning. But you know what's a really good thing about Mario 64? I feel like the soundtrack and pretty much all the sounds are just so cozy. Yo! Let's go! Like it to escape! Quack, 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 quack! It is my comfort game. Let's just say that. It's definitely my comfort game. Ah, oh, that sucks. Fuck you. What the dog doing? I think Infamous Second Son is slowly becoming my comfort game. Good thing I play in the Watchathon. <laughs> I already hear Mario in my sleep. I can still see the Mario in my bedroom. Can't it chase the fact that he just Yahoo? It's to the point that I love and I hate him. Also, is anybody in, in a place where actual snow is happening? Because I have not been in a place where actual snow has fallen in, in a minute. And I kind of low-key miss it. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I mean, there's no like three hours for me. I used to get a lot of snow in, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and in Colorado, but you know, I'm no longer there. It's getting more windy than snow in my area. I know in PA it normally snows not in December but like after December. Quacky, thank you so much for the follow. Hopefully you're doing good. Ah, that was kind of scuff. Yeah. 
Yes! Dude, second try outlets solid. You always want to get a first try, but second try is not bad. Second try is not bad, boys. So, outlets. Let's do all the, the spiffy tricks first. Outlets, cannonless. Because I forgot cannonless last time. I haven't had a white Christmas in years. Same. But I mean, I live in Florida, so. Here we go. There's no yesterday here in Ohio, and I was snowboarding West Virginia for Thanksgiving. Oh my god. That sounds so fucking cool. You know, that's one of the things I'm kind of butthurt that I never got to do. I never got the chance to snowboard. And it sounds so much fun. The only snow I had is in theme parks. Oh, you mean like those fake snow thingies? It is early. How are you doing, Watery? But it's also the weekend. So I'm like, I'm like... I'm mean, like your Saturday morning cartoons at this point for some of you. Wake up and watch them fly in the morning. That's clean. That's clean. That was clean. That was. Oh, oh. That was clean. That was clean. Let's go. I'm doing it. No, I fucked it up. Tell me the coin falls. All right, this is a trick here. Let me see if I can do it. <gasps> almost. All right, that almost worked. Man, I'm really fucking this one up. All right, let me restart. Since I'm, I don't have a, a timer, let me reset this and, and try again. Because that was all wrong. Mamma mia. I drove 300 miles to see my dad. I'm getting drunk today with whiskey and trying to find weed in an LSD plug-in indie. <laughs> well, best of luck. That sounds like a mission and a half. But if you do, it sounds like you're going to have a blast too. Holy shit. You're going to get plastered. Good lord. Thank you for sharing too. My god. Good lord. Like, I'm going to visit my dad and literally not be me because I'm going to be so intoxicated. Or maybe that's... I didn't know you as the intoxicated you, you know? Sharing is caring. Right? Oh! Oh my god. That worked. Holy shit. We really out here doing things, huh? Nice. Holy shit, I'm gaming, mom. I'm gaming. Imagine tripping with my parents sounds like a bad time. <laughs> my parents were kind of cool. Well, not my dad so much, but my mom is like understanding of the fact that I smoke weed, and I explained to her for for the longest why did I do it, and she's like, "Oh, that makes sense. That's fine." She's like, "As long as you're not like overdoing it or like you know putting yourself in a in a predicament." Because normally I would just smoke weed in my house. Mom, get the camera. Slice gamey. I'll survive. You're still awake. No, fuck. Yeah. 
YouTube today, I'm going to dab on your mom. Bam. I don't sleep. Ah, sleep. I don't know her. <laughs> Brown sister problems awake. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest though. Uh, my sleep schedule is dog shit right now. My sleep schedule is caca. So right now I'm kind of like low key trying to reset it. Cause like I I'm not tired when I'm supposed to be tired. You know. Okay, we're late. Bro, Eddie, why are you so depressed? I'm literally shaking. Cause I watched for the first time ever Grave of Fireflies. If you have watched that movie, you would understand too. I kind of become a watch it down heads up guy. Ah, I appreciate it. Mess up, sleep schedule is surprising. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I make the best of it. I get to hang out with you guys right now, which is kind of cool. I don't get to stream at these, like, hours normally. I stream normally at 9. Yo, we're back at 13. That's not bad. So, you know, I'm making the best of it. I'm based. Damn. Very cool. You're extremely cool. Hey, look, the sun is there. That was really fucking clean. Holy shit. <laughs> that was insanely clean. KB like an Omega chat leftist speedrunner he has. <laughs> Stupid. Ah, shit, I fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, that I, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> Whoop. Oh my god! Too much pepper on that jump. Too much pepper. Too much pepper. Too much pepper. A little bit too much pepper. Let's, let's, let's take back the pepper. Too much pepper. Also, I don't know. I don't know. Lately, I don't know if anybody here enjoys McDonald's. I do it from time to time. But, like, man, the McDonald's nearby my house has been just preparing food like dog shit lately. It has not been sitting well lately. And it bumps me out because I generally do like McDonald's. You know, I don't I don't have an exquisite palate or a very like high class, high society palate. And I like I like my nuggies, I like my 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 thingies here and there, but man, they've been really screwing the pooch lately and I hate it. Yeah, it's 
you know what? I, I realized that. Yeah, McDonald's lately has been super hit or miss. It sucks. And, like, I used to work at a McDonald's. Like, I understand what it takes to make the food, so I just don't get what the fuck is going on. It depends who's working, Sly. Also, make sure to ask if they can make them fresh. Dude, I feel so bad because, like, I've been going there lately late. Like, around midnight and something like that. So, like, I don't want to, like, make him make my fresh fresh fresh. Like, I'm like, I, I'm like, it's a, it's a roll. Just like, I don't want them to get Omega pissed, too. But, I mean, it's their job. If I can eat local diners, I would go, I wouldn't go to Mac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't have diners here. The only thing that we have similar to that is uh, a Denny's. And I'm kind of sick of the Denny's already. You know? But, no joke, recently, uh, they opened this, like, Italian restaurant near me. Oh, my God. It has become my new favorite place to eat. They make amazing chicken alfredo. The pizza's bomb as fuck. Their, their mozzarella sticks are, like, made-made, not, like, frozen. I'm, I'm, like, living. McDonald's always decent because they, f they can fuck up the rice and chicken. Oh yeah, so some McDonald's have uh, rice and chicken. I know the Puerto Rican one had like tortones. Ooh, I fucked that up. Let me for a All right, now this is it. There you go. Wait for it. Oh, there you go. No, it's not Olive Garden. <laughs> it's not Olive Garden. It's it's called like Mama Romana or something like that. Something with the word Mama, which means like mom or something. I don't know. In Spanish, also Mama means sucking, which is interesting. <laughs> You're like they're sucking somebody named Romana there. Yeah, in Allentown, there was a lot of, like, really, like, nice, like, diners. When I went to visit my, my uncle here not too long ago, we ate in a few diners. And I'm like, man, I miss this. Detroit this week for some mom spaghetti as a restaurant ran by Eminem. I saw the ass on that actually. I saw that. He was there uh, serving the first day. That was funny. And it's just they serve spaghetti. That's it, right? That's cool though. They're just lazy and gave us a Mac Cafe. Oh, that sucks. Getting cucked like that? Unforgivable. This mom's spaghetti better be fire. I mean, doesn't that doesn't that uh spaghetti place only have like one item or two items? Normally like places that have like just specialties are pretty bomb actually. So I would assume that that spaghetti probably is like amazing. Or I would hope so. Cause the menu is like, it has like what, two items and that's it? What did she do with the baby penguin? Oh, I brought him to his mama. The mom was being a responsible mother, so. Hey, 
85 is the lucky number. Damn, stick! Also, like, I was like recent, like, I was fairly young when I, well, no, I was fairly older when I found out that normally, like, a restaurant having a lot of items is a bad thing. I'm like, why? That sounds awesome. Look at all the variety. They're like, you don't get it. Normally, when they have a lot of things, that means that normally their food is not that good. Like, what the fuck does that mean? But yeah, apparently that's the thing. Mom's spaghetti for me is a can of Chef Boyardee. Dude, I like unironically Chef Boyardee. But I think it's just because I grew up eating it. You know? My family wasn't like very, very rich. Me growing up. So like, we had to like deal with what we could. Hey look guys, I didn't forget about the ghosts. I'm learning. He's remembering. Spaghetti is for my jam. You know, if, if, if we're talking about cereal, I, I I know this is basic as fuck, but like, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I like Frosted Flakes. It's, it's a comfort cereal for me. It just, it's Frosted Flakes. I just like it. Let's time to focus on making good food, I guess. <laughs> I can never get into Frosted Flakes. I mean, two his own. You got Chip or idea? I got generic SpaghettiOs. I, I did not like SpaghettiOs that much. Yeah, I, I was a fan of, of, of Chip Poor ID. I like the raviolis and the spaghetti. Also, I remember my first time eating Chef Boyardee. I was at my cousin's house. And the mom was like, hey, do you want the meatballs? And I didn't know what the fuck a meatball was at that time. So I said no. And then I remember looking at my cousin's plate and then having the meatball. I'm like, oh, shit, I actually like that. But I had to be quiet because my dumb ass said, no, I don't want it. Because I didn't know what it was by name. So, hey, do you want the meatballs? I'm like, no, 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 I just want spaghetti. She's like, what the fuck is a meatball? I was so depressed. <laughs> it was so sad. The meatballs, no! My fight money. Here we go! You got to have fruit to process like strawberry and that's it. Oh yeah, I remember, uh... My cousins would put bananas, like cold bananas, on their, on their frosted flake. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, have you ever had meatballs with cheese melting inside? What? That sounds delicious. That sounds so good. What the fuck? I hope it is. You know what I've been craving lately that I have not had in a while? I want to have a good Philly cheese steak sandwich. I have not had one of those in a minute. I like cookie grips. I like them. You know, cookie grips is one of those free cereals that I can eat without milk. I can just like, you know, like shove my, my hand in the, the box and just Yo, I had a beggar Philly stick not too long ago. Jealous. Here we go. It's an adult. I'll eat honey bunches of oats, but doesn't hold the candle to a sugary cereal. I feel ya. Philly so cheesesteaks, I know how to make those. I make them work. Where the fuck do you work, McBive? You don't have to tell us if you don't feel comfortable saying it. Pan Station Cheese Steaks? I don't remember eating any of those. Actually. Movie theater? Hey, nice. 
Also, what, how was that new Marvel movie? What, what, what is it called? The Eternals? I heard there was dog shit. A lot of people did not like it. At least uh, the people that I saw talk about it. Oh, yeah, no, Cheat Swift is a must for a good, like, village you sake. It's good, but the plot is just mad. The director is mad. I don't watch the movie for the director. I watch the movie for the movie. What's, what's bad about the movie? It has Angelina Jolie in it. I'm hyped for Spider-Man. Me too. They have been keeping the other two Spider-Mans that we are pretty sure they're going to be there. Pretty hidden, so I'm kind of curious what's going on with that. They're being sneaky, sneaky with the trailers. I know those trailers are missing integral components, and I am not falling for it. The director that's whatever happens on screen. Good point, I guess. Here we go. No, the new Spider-Man is not out yet. I'm a real though. After Endgame, I kind of not care about Marvel movies. I enjoy the Marvel movies. So what? What is that? That one? That Shang? Is it Shang Chi or something like that? I watched that. and I had a lot of fun with that one, actually. If you like Marvel movies, I definitely recommend that one. Chanchi was dope. Ah, I fucked it up. Fuck. I was close. I just got too close to the sun. Yeah, Chanchi was really good. I enjoyed it. There it is. What? Bruh. Yo, oh my god, this this game is trolling. This game is trolling so hard. You know what? I'm gonna kill myself. No, no, I'm gonna kill myself. I wanna do it. This game is trolling. Chenchi was great. Chinese martial arts are my weak point. It was really, really good. Also, anybody that watched like the Cowboy Bebop live action, do you feel like the... I know everything when it comes to like martial arts and movies are scripted, but like... Man, it felt really poorly choreographed. It felt kind of like almost robotic. Man, I'm fucking this up. Whatever. Like, it felt really stiff when I watched that first episode of Cowboy Bebop. The martial, art, the, the martial arts felt really stiff and it bothered me. I just feel like there's still a reason to even watch Cowboy Bebop. Eh. Cool gameplay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't tell if you're being sarcastic, but I'll take the compliment. I love it. It isn't meant to be good comment. People complain about Cowboy Bebop. I, I don't know, man. People just apparently have just a bad taste when it comes to live actions, but like... I mean, I just want people to like... I, I, I don't mind enjoying like live action shit if it's done right. Smiley face, cool gameplay. Thanks, dog. No live action anime has been good. Now, Lisa, you are wrong. Watch Alice in Borderlands right now. It's on Netflix. It's way better than Squid Game. You'll like it. Also, the live action of A Race was pretty fucking solid. Let's go.
The live action One Piece is looking interesting though. Curious how that pan out. I mean, I hope they do it justice because, like, the people they like One Piece, they like it, like it, you know? Because, like, in order to be a fan of One Piece, you need to be, like, diehard dedicated, and that audience definitely is dedicated to watch so much. Oh, come on! <laughs> what? <laughs> that was bad. I do fucking pillars first try. I. F what am I doing? Dude, am I brain dead? Alright, let's salvage this somehow. Come over here, Burp. Fuck you! <laughs> if they butcher One Piece, I'm gonna be fuming. That's my favorite anime. Hope not, then. Rooting for them not to fuck it up. Hello? Also, apparently, uh, I don't know if anybody cares about Bloodborne. But apparently they found out a glitch that they took that it took six years to find where there's an infinite ammo glitch And now people are cheating the fuck out of the game now. Yeah So now they can you can use one of the most like OP weapons uh, Which is the cannon and you can just spam the cannon Like da 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 and just blow the shit out of things. It's dope I was watching distortion and uh Zeus. And it's really easy to do, by the way. You need a uh, you need a whirly gig, which is a DLC item. So it probably has to be a new game plus speed run. So you need the whirly gig, and you need if you want to do the most damage, you also need uh, the cannon. Hey, to all, have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks a lot. Suzette yesterday he was blasting Lowig in seconds. That's funny. That's crazy though. Like I love seeing like because again Bloodborne is like insanely optimized at this point. So like to find stuff like that just brings new life to the run, which you know you love to see it. Kind of why people are still fighting this shit to know until half a decade later. I mean, Toby Fox is a monster. I really need to like set up a date so I can like do a uh, Delta Room One and try to see like all the new things added, so then we can do Delta Room Two. But like this, this, this month is pretty stacked because uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing the the new Minecraft update. Come what? Three days from now, so I'm gonna be doing that here. I might do a little less play of it. You're gonna need Kayla's excellent voice acting. Yeah, I think she wants to be part of the Delta Room One, but like at the same time, she doesn't. Cause like she already has played it, but I'm like, well, you're missing these stuff. So like, I don't know. I gotta set up days for her to make it happen. Like if I don't set shit up, nothing gets done, you know. And it's technically my job to do it, but at the same time, like I'm like, she hasn't like said anything about it, you know. The release candidates are out? 
What do you mean? Like, I can play what I'm going to get on the 30th already? Essentially? Is the world generation and everything already, like, tweaked and everything? Because, like, my biggest draw is I want to see the world generation. Like, you know what's really funny? The world generation reminds me of a mod that I had, like, really, really early on that made the world look really, really cool. I'm like, ah, oh, interesting. I used to play with worlds like this. I think this was at the time where, like, I decided to make a texture pack and change, like, mods to look like Pokemon back then. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Good morning, Pirtle. This was at the time where, like, we did the little sacrifice the bunnies in the lava thing. Apparently, the Deep Dark is not going to be in this update because Michael was talking about it. And he was, like, you know, being Michael and yelling about it. Ah, it's not going to be there. Bro, why? Just going about how it was, like, lame about it. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Majority of some world gen has been updated from some snapshot to pre-release and release candidates. Mm. Yo, those those motherfuckers are stalling harder than Switch streamers. I don't understand it. Like, Mojen's no longer an indie company. They have like big budget and big money, yet I see like indie company just produce way better content and faster. And I understand that they had to, like, take into consideration the fact that it's going to go into different platforms and shit like that. But, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of shocked at how slow they are. Mojang was, yeah, Mojang was bought by Microsoft. They're, they're no longer baby company, you know? And, like, the crazy thing is, like, Demonic Community is still pretty fucking solid. So, like, they could probably invest in getting, like, modders on their team so they can, like, speed up process. But, you know, I don't know the legalities and the ins and outs. So I'm not going to pretend that I do. Ooh, that was rough. I mean, didn't they hire the more creatures creator? They they hired the Aether creator, and I don't know if they did hire the more creatures dude, but maybe I want to say yeah. Sometimes I miss the simplicity of the beta days. I think after a while you would have gotten really bored of it. I understand where you're coming from, but like, I'm all down for like advancements. You know. I think that it's fine that they're doing all these cool things. It's just at the at the speed that they do. Also, you know what's one thing that annoys the shit out of me when it comes to like Mojan? Like they do these like events where like they make the audience choose what mob that will appear. You know, a new mob will appear, and like they make you choose between three. I'm like, why don't you just put all three, dude? Stop dividing the community into like this bullshit competition that nobody gives a fuck. Like, just give us all the content. Just give it all. Like, don't make us choose. It's so weird. The dream rigged it. Don't make us juice. Dude, we're not juice. We're cows, and they're milking the fuck out of us. Waiting. Because then they need to do a little bit more work. Oh no! Oh no! A multi million game that keeps literally producing more money. And it's the most sold game. Oh no! Your feelings. Oh no! I hope their bank account is okay. Oh no. Yeah. 
Oh, that oh. fucked up big time. Yikes. Rough. Should've just taken the elevator. But my indie game turned triple AXP wings. Also, I'm like kind of high key happy that like Notch is no longer involved with Minecraft. I know some people have like the nostalgia of Notch, but like he apparently turned out to be kind of Monka S. So, yeah. Yeah, apparently Notch is kind of cringe. You hate to see it. I mean, at the time he deserved the praise, but then again, it's like it's one of those like never meet your heroes type of beat. The more we got to find out about him, the more we're like, oh no, what is happening? Like right now with me, like one of my favorite, or used to be one of my favorite content creators, not anymore, because like he, I have learned a lot more about him and like his beliefs, but like. John Tron, I used to love the shit out of that guy, but like the more that I learn about him, the more that I'm like, holy shit, what is happening here? I'm like, I love his content, but like he's so disappointing. And it took me a while. I was one of those like fanboys who were like, no, no, but I, I love his content, but I'm like, eh, I'm good. That's why we never talk about politics. I think that's a stupid thing to do. I think we should normalize talking about politics. I think the taboo of not wanting to talk about politics is the reason why we're in this hole. Because it's something that affects all of us. And to like hide from it is really dumb. And if anything, if we were more comfortable to talk about politics, we would know who had like shitty takes or just like shitty ideals that we could just like cut them off way sooner because what ends up happening is like people don't talk about politics we don't really know like people's beliefs and whatnot and they just end up like hiding that they're shitty people i think i think everything should be able to be talked about i was like good morning ryan hi 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 hey boy not just Twitter's kind of cringe, not gonna lie. I, I don't follow the dude. Not in that, in that matter, at least. I've been done stop watching him or following him. Also, by the way, I don't know if anybody's take on this is, but like, when people tell you not to talk about things, a lot of times I wonder why do people not want to talk about it? Like, what are you hiding? Twitter in general is just kind of cringe. I've been kind of weaning off of, of Twitter. If anything, whenever I, I like hang out there, it's just kind of to fuck around or just meme. Here we go. So it is what it is. Maybe in a, in a previous time I was more into it, but not anymore. People fear about getting their police challenged. Well, that's how you that's how you progress. That's how you become better. Like none of my beliefs are a hundred percent solid, and the reason why I say that is because like if I find out that my beliefs, or at least what I thought at one point is actually wrong, then I'm able to then change it. We're ever-evolving humans. Stagnation is like the worst thing you can do, you know? Here we go. Just being like, I believe this and nothing can challenge it is really kind of weird. I go for Twitter for art memes and VTube news. That's fair. I've been <laughs> I've been following people a little bit more, but like I catch myself muting them more often too. I at this point I just love muting people on Twitter. I'm like I give them a chance, I give them like a few chances, and I'm like, oh no, I'm done. Bye bye.
I got I I recently follow uh, a, a really cool girl, but then she started like going off on Twitter, like basing off like you know just shitting on men. She just was just shitting on men constantly. I'm like I get it. Men are trash. Come on, that's the page. And she was like just hyper focused of like talking shit about men. And I'm like I okay, I'm bored. She's like. Men that want to be your friends, but only want to be your friends to have sex with you. I'm like, no, I get it. There's people that exist like that, but like, it's just consistently that kind of shit. I'm like, ah. All right, I get it. I hope that whatever hurdle you're going through, you can pass it. Like, you're right. Men are trash, but so are girls. Everybody's trash. I don't. I don't think one gender is better than the other. We're both equally good and equally shit, you know. But like the whole like men, wham, wham, wham. I'm like, ugh, come on. Men are twins. I mean, that's what their Twitter is there for, right? Like, they can do whatever they want. They can talk about whatever they want, but I can also mute anybody I want. I'm like, all right. Blaze Pizza? I have not heard of something like that. Their piece is good. Hmm. Interesting. What? Up. Oh, thank you. Boing. I was close. Is that actually good? I got one right down the road where I live. I don't, I never eat in there, but McVibe apparently is like all about it. It's like a subway, but pizza? I don't know if if you can say it's good and then compare it to subway, because apparently a lot of people hate subway. I don't know if you want to compare good pizza and subway. I don't know if you can fit those two in the same sentence. Yo, chat. Exclamation mark has up. I normally just like mom and pop places when it comes to like pizza. I realize that whenever I don't want to do like the spiel because either something's happening or I'm just being bored or lazy, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, chat! Exclamation mark! Hits up!" <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oops. How do you know that you will have as soon? I have them automatically go in 55 minute intervals. So normally Twitch doesn't let doesn't give you a warning with like a sound cue. So I have an alarm clock that is time at the same time the ads go every 55 minutes. So the little like flute sound will play first and it allows me to let you guys know the ads are coming. Cause like some people kind of don't like the idea of like getting caught like with their pants down when ads are happening. And it also serves as a good way to remind people that one, ads are playing, and if you want to support the channel, you can support it by subscribing, you know? It's a way of selling out without really selling out. Is, the setting, is it a setting to have them roll every 55 minutes? The way I have it, yeah. Uh, whenever I do watchathons, the ads roll every 26 minutes. But whenever I'm live, I like to only give you guys ass once, uh, once, uh, 
once an hour. And uh, Twitch gave you that ability to do it, by the way. Like, they gave us a auto-app playing feature that you can do on your dashboard. Here we go. So it just kind of tastes the same? I don't know, man. I remember walking past, like, subways, and I always wanted to eat the smell. And the smell that I was smelling all the time was the Italian herbs and cheese bread. And, oh, my God, it's so good. Anytime that if if I went through a phase that I would always like get a shit ton of like Subway and the sandwich of choice was an Italian herbs and cheese BMT. So good. So I haven't resubbed, but I haven't had a single commercial since I started watching the stream. That's good. Some people get ads, some people don't. It's more like I like to give people a heads up so they don't like wonder why ads came, you know? It's more like a, hey, it's going to happen instead of like, boom, you got ads, fuck you. Try to help people out. And it serves as a reminder to like let people know that, hey, it helps when you guys subscribe. I, I don't work for free. Please help. But instead of saying that, it's less, uh, it's, it's less pushy, you know? It serves as a reminder for people they have Prime too. Because a lot of people forget they have primes. So it, it does a lot. Or slide works for free. Technically, if nobody subscribes, kinda. <laughs> but like, you know, ads, ads do help a little bit, but not as much as people subscribing. But either way, I have very generous like viewers to help me out. So it is what it is. I completely forgot Skater Boy. I completely forgot it. Sorry. Here, have it. This no look like Lord? Yeah, I'm not Michael either. But apparently you don't know that. So I guess you're not much of a big fan of Michael or Dream SMP. Unless you mean something else. Yeah, I think they're confused. Because uh, Michael raided me and hosted me. <laughs> Listen, I get invited to Dream SMP, I'll give you guys Lord. I've been enjoying how Michael has been doing Lord too, though. It's very to himself. Yeah, that was like hours ago. If you want, you can go to his YouTube channel. He uploaded the, the VOD with the lore. Nice. Wait, no, stop. Dude, if I get invited to Dream SMP, I'm definitely going to like cater to their fans. Like what? That would be the most dumb thing not to do. I will feed into the lore. I will park in that server. Shit, I'll actually be around. Dude, if I if I get invited to that server, I'll, I'll set dates just so I can be around when Michael's around. Because literally, anytime that Michael's around, it feels like nobody's there. Or like, one thing that kind of bothers me about it is like, I feel like nobody engages with Michael. And it kind of bumps me out. Here we go! Pandering dream fans? Dude, it would be like a having a second chance of having the audience that I had when I was in the creatures. But me knowing instead of just kind of living in a dream. Because, like, when I had my first opportunity of being with the creatures and blowing up, I was not behind the wheel. I was kind of just like, eh, I don't know what to do with this car. But now, with like the knowledge and like my maturity and just in general everything that I know, I'll be so behind the wheels. You would be the first. Uh, VTuber there, I'll be sick. I mean, I wouldn't only be like the first V, like VTuber there. I also would be one of like the original like Minecraft people, one of the OGs, cause like I played, I have been playing Minecraft for over like plus ten years. 
So a bunch of cringe. Yeah, we already have you guys here. You cannot call cringe to the fans. If you're behind the wheel, can we be in front of the car? No, no, I'm gonna be dragging you guys. Cause like, listen, if I do get invited to Dream SMP, I'm going to like just teach the culture of Twitch to the fans. Like I'll teach them how to like have proper Twitch etiquette. And I'll have so much fun doing that. Imagine more of like our uh, frogs, essentially. It'll be so much fun. We'll teach like Twitch etiquette. We'll teach them about VTubing. Shit, we'll do like Dream SMP in the beginning and then we'll teach them about like speed running. Man, we could do so much shit. Plus like, again, I, I would high key love to be part of that server and like hang out with Michael. Cause like, I feel like me and him could create really fun stuff too, you know? And then hopefully trigger others to be part of it. Cause like, I don't know. D to anybody that watches the Dream SMP, specifically Michael, do you, do you not feel like a lot of them do not engage with him? He feels like a third wheel in his own server. Yo, what's going on, Max? Feel kind of bad about that. Oh, so, oh yeah, with, with, with me being there, if I get the chance, we can get more viewers and then our crab games will be more chaotic too. Oh, I fucked that up, lol. <laughs> I've been watching all MCYT season over the month. Damn. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. By the way, if I do ever get invited to that, the first week they will do is like, I'll literally teach you guys about whatever the fuck we're gonna be dealing. Our first week will be just watching lore videos and like learning about this shit. I'll be fun. It'll be so fun. What am I fucking up? I'm fucking something up. What am I fucking up? Give me a second. I just know that being in that Dream SMP server is a big fucking opportunity. And I would definitely not take it for granted. Here we go. Yo, <laughs> chat, she's gonna think I'm weird, but I just kind of had like an out of body moment. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm playing Mario. But like, I've been kind of playing almost like an autopilot. <laughs> I'm like literally playing on autopilot, that's funny. I mean, that's what speedrunning is eventually. Because I remember when I first started speedrunning, I could not talk to chat and play at the same time. Here we go. Mario screen sounds so echoey. Uh, it's because he's in a cave. This, this level is a cave, essentially. Rain off, muscle memory activate. Pretty much. <laughs> Monkey mode activated. Hyper jammies. Yeah. 
I think this Mario game seems relaxing and fun. I mean, as, so, as, as someone that likes to watch like speedrunners play this, I agree with you. Uh, it, as someone playing it, it's a little stressful at times, but I have a lot. I have a lot of fun times with this. Also, I think all the cool tricks and skips are really nice. I wonder who Jim is going to choose to be the new people on the server, though. I'm highly curious. Or I wonder if that tweet was just a bait. Pretty much, Max. It's fine, so some of my friends say Pepe and people are offensive. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> what, Panda? Fuck your life! Bing bong. You've been watching too much, uh, what is it called? Sci Sci Talk? What is it? What is it called? Sci something? I forget what it's the name. Fuck your life! Here we go. We're here in Coney Island with the dummies. Who's the president? Byron! Who? Byron! It cracks me up. Yeah, it's super fun, actually. Here we go. It, it makes New York seem so hype. <laughs> and again, New York is hype, but and not all the time. No, this is this is uh the N64 version emulated. Is there a way to glide? I know in the power of some Ruby Mario series, but no, not in this one. That's more like a, a Tanuki or like a cape type of deal. You don't really get to glide here. You can fly, but you need to, uh, it's very specific to some levels where that power up exists. Wing cap is gliding, in my opinion. Gliding and flying is two different things, but all right. Go off. Fucking this one up like a champ. Oh, you're talking about Super Mario 64 Land. That was a ROM. That's uh, a user-created ROM. Or like a, a another version of Mario created by somebody else, by and it's by Cassette Anywhere or Anymore. And I fuck up his name a lot. Fuck that pinball game! Oh my god, that pinball game was an AIDS. God damn. Is there a way to charge up jump while hanging onto a wall? Aren't you put jump one? No. That doesn't exist. Not in this version, at least. Oh, yeah, I know. The music is phenomenal in this game. Is 
Is it not copyrighted? Is the game all copyrighted today's the sound? What do you mean? Like the ROM? Not too sure about that. I wouldn't be able to give you a, a full answer. Yeah, they gave us a wall jump, and it's not even that good. Like, a, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's not difficult, but it's not like the, that run that we had, where we literally would, like, be able to slide off the wall instead of just being there for two seconds, you know? Hold up, I'm doing something wrong. Alright, there you go. I was thinking about something else. Are you playing? Are you planning on playing more in 64 games, more Pokemon Stadium, for example? Maybe other Nintendo 64 games from your collection? Uh, most likely. I just have other things that I need to do or want to do. If I ever have like a truly dry season of things, then sure, I'll explore that. <laughs> Funny. Hey, Cookie. Good morning. I'm not sure about that, actually. I don't think Pokemon Stadium is the hardest one. Hey, do you have any plots or lore for your VTuber character? There's a lore video of my introduction, but I haven't been able to do much lore stuff at the moment. Because right now I'm trying to like focus on actually being present as a streamer. When I when I did my debut, I took a long break because I was going through some personal things. They kind of like killed the momentum as a VTuber, unfortunately. So I'm trying more so to like be here present and then eventually I'll add like story and lore and pretty much explain what my character is to you guys more so but you can check out my youtube channel it should have it so i'm missing a star i'm missing a star and i don't know which one is it and it's bothering the shit out of me oh no you don't, there's nothing wrong with that max you, you did not ask anything the fuck did I miss? So it's three stars in Rainbow Ride. Let's let's go through the list real quick. Let me see. Let me see. So it's two in Bomb on Battlefield. All seven in Wumps. Okay, those are fine. Two in Big Boos. I only do five here. You don't do a hundred on this one. Ready for Christmas soon, Sly? Any plans? Yeah, Christmas, dog. She don't have to add anything extra to it. Dire, dire dogs. I already did the two that I needed for that. Snowman fire. Yeah, I did that. Wait, did I fuck up something here? No, there's the 100 star there, too. That's there. That's that. Where am I missing my 70 star? Ever plan to have your old friend group or crew in the future? What do you mean? Or you're like, wait, no, what? I mean, I read that wrong. Ever planning on having your own friend group slash crew at the moment? Or in the future? Uh, I mean, I'm never, I'm, I'm not against the idea of being part of a group or creating a group. But at the moment, I don't... I don't have the mentality of like focusing on others in that aspect. Right now, I guess my biggest focus is on myself. It's not a castle secret star. Well, here's the thing. We already did. It was. We did two MIPS. We did two toads. Yeah, my, my group right now is just Kayla. My only focus right now in collaboration, 
that they will be like consistent with Kayla. I'm down to do things with Bree. I love the shit out of Bree, but like it also comes down to like I need to like create content that we can also do, or like find content that we can do, because like I can't just let her be the one that comes up with the ideas, because she already has invited me or come up with a few ideas, and yeah, scheduling is another thing too. But like if you guys notice, I'm working on my own like hurdles. And my hurdle at the moment was uh, having a somewhat consistent schedule or like even just showing up consistently. It took me a while to do that. I don't know. Not very proud of it, but it is what it is. Hey, Yang, how you doing? So I guess, I guess what I'm trying to do when it comes to like the future is I want to consistently get the basics of who I am as a streamer, as a VTuber, and like get it really really good like i want to get my fundamentals cool so whenever i do my solo stuff it's great whenever i do collaborations awesome you know i don't want to rely on collaboration to be like who i am if that makes any sense did i get this because like no matter how much collaborations I do, if me individually, I suck or have no value or don't have the ability to like create conversation or just engage with fans or create content that is fun, it doesn't matter. You, I could collaborate with a bazillion people. It won't matter. That shit will fall off. Have you played the new update for Genshin Impact? Not yet. Actually, you know what's funny? I updated my Genshin Impact yesterday. So I might be uh, doing this here soon. Man, I really don't know where the fucking star is. And I'll do another one. Did you get the tone in Hasty Maze? I think I did too. I swear to God, but I'm down to check. Let's fuck around and find out since it's not a, a full, a full full. I swear to God, I did though. Also, I love that you guys are like, did you do this? I remember doing you doing this. Did you do this? I love that. <laughs> you guys know as much as I do. You just watch and I do it. Like something's off. I keep hitting 69. Last time I did a run, it was 69 also. It's because we care. We love to see it. Yeah, it's not this. I got... What the fuck am I missing? It's probably something really stupid too. So those are fine. Literally all of them. I did the two in slide. All right, so let, let me let me just go in the, uh, the order of lists in my brain. Oh, hold up, let me let me pull up my my splits. Hold up, that that could probably help. Let me pull my light splits. Maybe that can help me out. Figure it out. Open 70 star knots. Like 70 star. No, not that. Open mono 70 star. What the fuck? 70 star. Let me see my splits. So, first world, we wrap up once with nine. So that is. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What the fuck? Hold up. What is that? What is this math? One, two, three, four. So let me let me let me get the order right. One bomb on battlefield. One secret star. Nine. Okay. So you leave nine. You leave with nine from Womps. You do another secret star with slide that's 10 you do the red coin star ink flying cap that's 10 11 you beat bowser you get the red coin star from that that's 12 from there you go and go back to bomb on battlefield you do the other one 13 you go to cool cool mountain 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18. You leave with 18. You get the two a, a booze. We got the two a booze. You get MIPS, which is 21. You do lethal lava next. Actually, I oh shit, I've been doing the the order wrong. It, from Big Boo, you go to Shifting Sands. Shifting Sands has four. Wait, I'm missing one. What story am I missing? Isn't Shifting Sands? It's here. Yeah. I'm super keen at the 2.4 update on Genji since we got a new waifu character. Ooh. So it's here. Oh! We do double pillarless. That's why. We double pillarless. That's what we do. Yeah. That's it. We double pillars and we do secret coin. That's what. Oh my god. Damn, I'm dumb. I'm sorry, chat. And then you go. One. No, I fucked it up hard. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right. <laughs> All right. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, they put me here? That's cool. Okay, we go here. We go here. Drop, make it drop, and we're going to have my, my wife, my wife don't got a wet ass pussy. My name is Jim, the adventure people. Okay, we can close this too. This is it. Oh, well now, now I know. So we should not have that problem ever again. All right, cool. Here we go. That was my bad chat. I did not know that we were supposed to do pillars twice. I'm stupid. My bad. I am lit dumb. It's been a while though. So now that I know that I have to do pillars twice, it's fine. Also, by the way, to anybody that doesn't know much about Mario, pillars is essentially like the second hardest trick in this game, I want to say. So the fact that we do it twice is kind of kind of cool. Carpetless when? Dude, that that's that's dude, not even the pro pros do it. Not even the pro pros do that shit. Oh! It's all good slice like riding a bike, yeah. I remember <laughs> let's go that was another trick I forgot my muscle memory was like it's like this I'm like okay muscle let's do it So I learned a trick to maybe get Bowser consistently, but I'll have to practice that later. For me, the trick was a three spin into a throw. 
Spin him three times and then throw. Good. Outside from the fact that I fucked it up for a little bit. So when are we gonna get to see some blind for speedruns? Well, I mean, you can watch blinds. You can do. Uh, we can do that already. You just had to put the blind for and now just speedrun. It's literally the same thing. You put the blind for all speedrun. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll be able to start doing speed run, speed runs, like legit. Also, fun though. Thank you so much for the kind words. Also, like almost like hasn't there been a, like a lot of the uh, the the speed runs that that have been done blindfolded? A lot of the people that have done it have apparently have been cheating on it. Oh wait, this was an AMA question. Yeah, but it was an AMA about grace of fireflies. Because it was the first time me watching that, so. Bing bong, 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 bing bong. Alright, one second, guys. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna take a little break to get up, stretch.
much for the playing my game. Thank you so much for the playing my game. All right, everybody. I'm going to take a little break here. Uh, I'm actually feeling sleepy, so I might just get a little nap and then wake up and stream again. So hopefully that's all right with y'all. Um, I'm going to probably just turn back the watch done so you guys can just have that. But uh, this time I'm going to let you guys have uh, MPU Season 1. I don't think we have played that yet. So we're going to do that. But uh, to everybody that were here, I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. If I do not see you today for an X or Y reason, I'll see you guys in the next stream. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much to Michael and all of you guys that stuck around. It was really, really fun. I hope you guys had a good time. If you have not, follow. Do me a solid. Please do so. Uh, and, uh, yo, check out our YouTube channel, too. We've been uploading there quite consistently once a week and then some shorts there, too. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love your guts. And, uh... If you want more content, stay tuned because it's going to start here in a few minutes. Not even that much, right? Take care, everybody. Laters.